Counter detection plays a very important role in many interesting computer vision applications, such as detecting objects in the scene, extracting foreground from images, or segmenting the images. Hey there, welcome to Learn OpenCV. In this video, we will learn about OpenCV's contour detection. To produce good contours, you need to read the image, convert it to grayscale, and threshold it. The boundary between the black pixel and the white pixel is the contour. Let's see its implementation on code. First, download the images and import CV2 and matplotlib. Then, we read and pre process the images before detecting the contours. These are the pre processing results the BGR image, the grayscale image, and the thresholded image. Now, pass this thresholded image to OpenCV's find contours function. The function will return the contours and its hierarchy. Now pass these contours to OpenCV's draw contours function. Change the appearance parameters like the line color and thickness to your liking and select which contours to draw. Minus 1 specifies all the contours. And if you change the thickness to minus 1, you will fill the contour. If these concepts are difficult to grasp, check out OpenCV University's free OpenCV bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses. Next, let's check the retrieval modes of find contours. As usual, read the image, convert it to grayscale and threshold it. Then, we loop through all the retrieval modes and find the contours. The hierarchies are given in the format next, previous, next child, parent. External only finds the parent contours. List finds all the contours but without finding the hierarchy. C comp and tree also find all the contours, but it defines a two-level hierarchy and all-level hierarchy respectively. Here is the runtime comparison for all the retrieval methods. List takes the least time, whereas tree takes the most time. OpenCV also provides two approximation techniques, chain approx none and chain approx simple. These reduce the number of redundant points of a contour. But when we find and draw the contours, both the results look identical. This is because draw contour does not draw points, but the line between these points. If I just draw the contour points using cv2.circle, these are the results I'll get. This is the difference between the approximation techniques. So that's all about OpenCV's contour detection. If you like this video, why don't you check out OpenCV's blob detection? or other videos in computer vision and deep learning fundamentals. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.